If you're like me, then you want to get the most bang out of your buck and you do not mind getting something that's not name brand as long as it fits your needs. Today I want to talk about budget tripods, particularly I want to talk about the Gigoto 77 inch tripod because I did a lot of research before getting this and I'm going to tell you why I bought it and whether or not I regret it. When I first started, I was gifted this tripod right here. It's a Vivitar tripod and made out of complete plastic. If you need something that will hold your camera up, this will do it. However, the problem with this is it's too short. It doesn't even reach my chin. And I'm not a really tall person to begin with. So once I decided that yes, I was gonna be making more videos, it was time to move on. My needs for a tripod have changed. And so the next tripod I went on to was the Amazon's basic tripod. So it's actually a Polaroid tripod, but it's a little bit beefier. It's heavier really just because of the size. The good thing about this is it gets just as tall as the Gigoto. So this thing, it, it reaches my eye level and it could definitely get taller than me as well. Um, also made out of plastic, comes with a little bubble. It is a video tripod, as you can see from the handle. And at the time, it fit my needs. However, when I started to do event videography, this thing came short because the head, it's not very smooth. It actually kind of is jerky. So, when you start moving it, sometimes it gets stuck. Other times it can move around quite well, but it does get stuck at times. And so <laughs> you definitely see it in the video. So once I decided I needed something that's more professional, I started to look around, but at the same time, I did not want something that cost me $200 for something that's gonna hold my camera. Now, I don't mind spending the money if it's necessary. However, I didn't feel that it was. So I did some research, I looked around, most of them were short, um, like my original tripod. I eventually found this Gigoto tripod. So the cool thing about this is, it's not plastic. It's made, out, this one's made out of aluminum. They do have a carbon fiber version. Um, I don't think I need something that tough. So this, as you can kind of hear from the clicking, has three legs that, that lock. Two of the biggest reasons why I ended up getting this one. So one, it does pack up pretty small. This head right here, it goes into the base and it comes out. So when it's out, one, it could get taller, but two, it does allow you to pack it up small for travel. The legs, these are those, these are the lever legs and so it makes it easy to open up. You can do it all at once. Pull that out all the way. Now the top here, it is made out of plastic, um, but it is a nice tough plastic. The other thing that I noticed and the reason why, one of the big reasons why I got this was actually because of this ball head. So, this allows you to, of course, move it in any direction, but this allows you to get vertical shots as well as horizontal shots. So this is great for if you're doing video, but also photography. Now, the biggest reason that I got this is because you can detach one of the legs and it can become a monopod. So why is that important? When I first started doing event videos, I made the mistake of bringing a tripod in this. This is a glide cam. Now, it's good to get steady shots, but when you're holding this all day, this thing gets extremely heavy. And when you just want to get a steady shot, but you don't want to be in people's way, a monopod is the way to go. Now the head of this tripod is removable so that you can attach this to the monopod detachable leg. So with this now I could hold the camera and I could shoot and keep it more steady 
The problem with Canon that I, I find is that their body doesn't have stabilization. So you have to find lenses that do. And unfortunately, if uh, you don't have a lot of money, it's hard to find those. So this allows me to, to get the shots I want, you know, and switch between horizontal and vertical. But when it is on the tripod, the other thing I discovered was that it turns very smoothly. The panning has some resistance to it. And so it does an even pan. It doesn't do that jerky motion that the Amazon Basics tripod does. So this is one that I definitely recommend if you're doing photography. Now there is another version of the 77 inch Gigoto tripod and it actually has a video fluid head. So this is the Gigoto with the video fluid head. Really the only difference is the head. All the other features are the same. It has the same detachable leg. So the difference is that this actually has a bigger head. Um, it has the arm and it has controls so that you can adjust the tension deciding how quickly you want it to pan. One more difference that I did notice about the video head versus the uh, ball head is that the video head does not have a uh, level. So that's one thing that um, unfortunately you will be missing when it comes to the video head. Now there are little level things that you can add on touch afterwards. It's very inexpensive. So if you really need that, that's something you can get after the fact. It's just one of those things that would be nice to have. Um, other than that though, honestly, it's made pretty well. Um, I have never broken any tripods. I take care of my stuff. Uh, so if you're somebody who really just beats their stuff and drops it anywhere, um, I think this will last you for a good amount of time. Uh, eventually you may have to get something even higher end like the carbon, but for me, I don't worry about that. So I rather spend less money on something that's gonna give me the function I need. So when it comes to deciding between these two, the, uh, really I would just say, if you're a video guy and that's pretty much all you do, then I would recommend getting the video head right here. It just makes it easier to pan and tilt. Uh, now, if you're a photographer or a hybrid, then I would recommend starting with this one. That way it gives you the ability to still get that smooth pan, although it is going to be a little harder to do because you really got to get close if you want to do that um, versus, you know, having this handle. And one thing I forgot to mention is that they each have this hook here. That way you can add some extra weight in case it's windy and you're outside. So if you're doing portraits or if you're doing landscape, then this is something that, or just any outdoor uh gig that you have really it adds some extra weight that way it doesn't blow over um, all in all what i would say is for the money that you're spending this is a really great option to consider now when i first was looking uh, this was the only one out there i have seen other brands coming out really i believe it's the same tripod just uh, rebranded um, I'm not going to buy them all to tell you, so that's going to be up on you. Uh, this is the Gigoro. Uh, so as far as the exact model, this one is with the ball head. It's the uh, AT24 Pro Dreamer, whereas this one is the AT24 Video. Um, again, the only difference is the head. Now, one thing I would say though about the legs, um, I would not use these to hold something really heavy on its own for the monopod. So I would not use this as a, a boom stick, for example. Um, it, they get kind of thin, so I would not use it for that. Uh, of course, and also there's no, no bottom, so it's not gonna hold up on its own. That's gonna be some of the drawbacks when it comes to these, but like I said, when it comes for the money, I definitely recommend this. Now, if you have the money, you can go check out the Manfrotto's. Those are the most popular and uh, the people that really talk about the high-end stuff, that's the brand that they recommend. So whether you go for the video or the pro, the ball head, 
Either one's a good choice. Just decide for yourself which one you're gonna be doing the more, video or photography.